Welcome, welcome, welcome to another very special edition of Political Thursdays. I'm CJ, and this is my main man, Moy, here. So today, man, we have a crazy, crazy topic, and it was really mind-blowing for me to hear. But WikiLeaks, uh, the very infamous WikiLeaks, mm -hmm. uh, has been known in years past for releasing very critical documents uh, in regard to uh, intelligence information or emails and things of that sort, but now uh, they have released some information about the CIA. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the CIA, man? Oh my God! First of all, I mean, I, I miss you. I miss yeah. you. You know, have on the show, absolutely chilling out and having a conversation because we know that every other day there's a different show. Of course. Now, um, so good to have you back brother. Thanks, man. Now, as you said, WikiLeaks is very infamous for their uh, leakings of information. For never before in their history of WikiLeaks have they ever um, got information out that was not true. First point. Wow. Second point is that this is the same information, sort of, same, it was in, it, it's in the same niche, mm -hmm. which means uh, surveillance, spying. That Snowden, the guy mm -hmm. uh, who is uh, a refugee in uh, Russia right now, has said, remember, yes. the guy Snowden, people made movies they about made him. Fun him. Fun they him. made fun of him, and he was in, in, in serious uh, risk of, of being dead. Yeah. Now, we all know from watching the news that there was a smoke on our previous president, President Barack Obama, uh, and his administration. Uh, somehow, that was the smoke probably, had authority and made sure, maybe not made sure, knew about surveillance going on on Trump Tower, which is our current presence. Right. Nobody knows what is true or what is right or what is wrong. But information by research shows that President Obama said, he referred back to what was allegated against him, said that nobody by the jurisdictions of executive process in the White House uh, have done anything themselves. Yeah. But didn't refer back and said that he knew about this. That's what the rebuttal is. Our job is to gain information from both sides and understand and evaluate what is right or wrong. Going back to CIA, what happened today was WikiLeaks have released 8,000 paperwork. Wow. 8,000. 8,000. That's not like, it's a lot of yeah. paperwork. Paperwork explaining and evaluating a program, algorithm, we're talking about tech now. Yeah. Algorithm program manufactured by the CIA, which enables them to use malware to get into stuff like, you know, your iPhone, Android, high tech, high definition TV, like the new next generation television. Right. Now, with that technology, they can turn this cell phone, even if it's turned off, into a spy device. They can hear what you're doing here. Earth to CIA, we're recording about you. <laughs> I mean, as a guy who's a you know it, it, in the tech world. in the tech world, right? I know that this is possible, and this this is not a joke. I know that this is possible. This is very this is possible. Yeah. But it is the job of the app, the producer of Apple to have a security system in place. Now the CIA knew that Apple, Google, Microsoft, and also Samsung, uh, which is a South Korean tech giant, and God knows what other companies. I mean, there are hundreds of millions of companies. CIA knew that they have a glitch, that the CIA had possibilities of debunking these glitches and get inside their devices. The CIA did not inform these businesses, which means to the people, this is, this is a public enterprise, this is a public, this is a, for the people, this is not a government entity. They have not told them that you have this problem, you gotta have to fix it. And 
put on risk thousands of millions of people who are using their device, including you, yeah. including me, where's my cell phone? My cell phone is right there. Okay, All, including me and including everybody else who does not use an Apple device or a Samsung device. I have not seen anybody using a Google. No, but the crazy thing is what I, I recently learned is yes. that they also have the Windows phones as well. Mm -hmm. And they have the Samsung TV. So it really doesn't matter which realm you step into. You are being, you know, watched. You have been watched. I mean, how insane is that? Please give me your thoughts. What, what, how insane is this, bro? What mm -hmm. is this? I think this is, uh, this is really crazy. It, 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 but it's not that crazy to me, to be honest. Express. I have to be honest with you because tell the people what's for going on. years and years now. I think everyone has started to kind of, kind of turn that switch on in their mind that maybe the government has this capability. You know, because you constantly see things on movies mm -hmm. and things like that, and they movies for a long time kind of foretold our future, foretold what was going to happen in the years to come, and so I think this this right here is just you know a product of what happens when. The world starts to expand and starts to move toward tech and you know me and you were talking a little bit earlier and you know I remember you mentioning that this will be what the next wave of wars is about you know cyber wars, cyber wars yeah. because that's what the world is kind of revolving around and just a side note if you are thinking about going to college right now maybe you're not in it, but the tech world is a great world to get into because our world is very much um, moving in that direction. But here's what I found most interesting. And I have to read this because it, it really blew my mind. Yeah. I'm not done yet, by the way. I have a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. I have some stuff to do. So you have to please get back to me after you're done. Of course. You're done. Of course. This blew my mind. So I have to I have to tell you this. That just one day before all this this information came out. Yeah. Just yesterday, the former CIA director... Michael Hayden. <laughs> Please tell people who this guy is. Why is this guy? Why am I laughing when you mention this guy's name? Michael Flynn, CIA's director, right? Yeah. Okay. Please. Michael Hayden. And so he just so now I guess he resigned. He resigned now, and he's really pushing the book. So he's he's saying that all the media is pro Trump because Trump has been President Trump has been attacking the CIA, the intelligence community. Mm -hmm. You know, and he says that the media has been going toward Trump and illegitimately releasing non fake non fact based world views. Mm -hmm. Basically saying that the world does not care about facts anymore. All they care about is what Trump releases and they are taking his word at law. So I'm wanting to know from you why is it that just the day before, or why is it that you believe that just the day before, a former CIA director would come out and basically take a stab at Donald Trump and how all of his, all of the news that he puts out is faked? Why do you think that is? To be honest with you, I don't know. I'm not in Washington, but what I have learned being a delegate. For, 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 for Southeastern Oklahoma, a little, a little small kid, is that this is a vicious war going on right now in Washington because what happened was this, this, goes, this Washington goes much deeper than we ever thought it can go. It's like, it's like a racket. It's a huge racket of this lying, this vicious human beings that the people has no clue about. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Trump was injected into the blood veins of Washington. I don't know what if Trump is good, bad, that is not my job. Trump is good, bad, this and that. He is, I don't know, I don't care. My job is to see what's going on. Right? This is what yeah. Dallas, this is what I, I, I feel like I should be doing as a young kid, as a young entrepreneur, if you must say. This guy is an outsider and he thought that he's gonna go there and drain the swamp. The swamp is filled with alligators and it goes much deeper. It's like, it's not even a swamp, it's like a sea. You yeah. know what I mean? Now, I cannot tell you exactly why he did that, but I can tell you this. This cat who said all of this stuff that he says, 
He's the you same. You're talking about Michael. Michael Flynn, the, okay. the director of the same guy who was completely wrong when the Senate, when they presented the allegation against Iraq that they had uranium. And we went to war and they were st still stuck in this war for eight years, eight, more than eight years. I'm not sure exactly what the time is. And he was wrong. That dragged us into, the people of the United States got dragged into this dramatic war mm -hmm. and got stayed there and thousands of hundreds of military was killed. Yeah. This was the same guy. So I don't know if I should be taking this guy even seriously or even listening to him, but we should be listening. To, I don't know why he said that. Now going back to the point. This is much serious than we think it is. This is much serious because people don't understand the, 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 the level mm -hmm. of tech that they're dealing with. They have no clue. There's this thing that this is a cell phone. This is just, this is just normal everyday life. They don't understand the level of threat that we're doing because we, you, as a citizen of the United States, we, as the, as the United States, just let's just say the United States as a country cannot afford to do this. You know why? Because we created the internet. Yeah. We created the internet. So we have all control. Over we, we should have all control over this. What the, what is going on? We should have all control over this first. Secondly, we cash out on this one thing called freedom, freedom, freedom. And then you do not inform your companies in your own country about the glitches that they have in their technology. What are you trying to do? What, what is the agenda here? Are you for the people or what are you, what is the, what is the, the, I can't figure out the agenda. I can't even imagine. I can't even feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, mean. These people are not even human beings anymore. I, you know what I mean? But see, the thing is, the thing, the thing about it that really gets me um, is the fact that this has been going on for years and years and years. And so you say that a uh, country has had the war, I'm sorry, the uh, weapons before, me weapons of mass destruction. And this supposedly came about um, through our intelligence and us finding those things out. And so we went to war, like you mentioned before. So I do find it odd. I have to tell you this. I do find it odd at a time when um, representatives, mm. including Trump, everybody, has been pushing so heavily toward us uh, revamping our military and building it up and spending so much money mm -hmm. on it that this type of information will come out. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Yes. Because before we found out that, or what we recently just found out is that the information that was collected showed that, so supposedly the, the Russians had tapped into uh, our voting system yes. and things like that. Yes. So what you're trying to say is that the Congress or Washington alleged Russia, mm -hmm. stating that El Russia played or maneuvered stuff or whatever it is through hacking to have a say in our election. That's what the, yes. that's what they said. Now, the recent information that was leaked specifically said that the CIA was the one who was leaking and who got who was playing all of the stuff and blaming it to other countries, not only in Russia. They can do it into other countries who they have problems with. Mm -hmm. Right now we have Russia, that's the problem. Yeah, Tomorrow course. that can be China, that's, that's going to be the problem, who nobody knows. But the CIA has played this critical villain by releasing information and stating that some other country has done that and that's how Trump is uh, being put into place and we gotta have to do something about it and I feel like it's a smoke to divert people's people's focus from what is going on to like oh my god you know mm -hmm. what I mean yeah of course please I, finish what you were saying I'm, I'm sorry I'm you. sorry that I no, stopped no, you because no, I got excited I'm glad, I'm I'm glad you did because it clears up and it helps me get to my point so my point is because all those things have happened and now we have already gotten the ball rolling on spending so much money on preparing for a war, mm -hmm. now we are putting ourselves in a situation where if we don't use mm -hmm. all of the equipment that we have, 
put money toward, all of the money that we have wasted, although every time there's a new presidential election, one of the main topics is our debt and yeah. how we are in debt. So now that we have created this big mess, I feel as though someone, I don't know who's in charge, Yeah. Uh, ultimately. You know, because they say the president's supposed to be in charge of all these things, but... You can't do all of this by no, yourself. It's like puppeting, yeah. you know? Yeah. He's yeah. The, the president, nine times out of ten, I say it, he's a puppet. Yeah, he can have a bigger say, but yeah. it does, nothing needed. moves by yourself. Nope. Exactly. And so, now I fear that we will take this embarrassment and shift the blame somewhere else. And okay. say that it really came from this, or or this country, or that country, and then we'll turn all these, the ship that you showed me or talked to me about last week. The USS Gerald Ford. It's like the U.S. Nimitz first class, the first of its class, the most highly technologically advanced ship that we've ever seen. How now, many jets can fit on that? 75 fighter jets can fit on that. 75 fighter jets. Now, you tell me, if we are not gearing up, and this is before this information came out. So, if we aren't gearing up for a war, why are we doing it? Honestly, I mean, this is a very fantastic question that you asked. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. It's just my own. I mean, I don't know. That's the question we should be asking. But the problem is, the way we're going, I think we're going to a cyber warfare. Mm. Because it's 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 gonna be fight against technology. It's gonna be it's gonna be a cyber warfare now from now on and onwards. That's that's what the 21st century is built on. That's where our future is going. And uh, it is it is tough and it is really sad to see the CIA playing a villain against his own country. Yeah. I mean, if this is true, I don't know. So far, it looks like it's true because, as we said, WikiLeaks is uh, founded by Julian Assange. He is living in the Ecuadorian embassy in London as a fugitive. That's the only safe place in the war for him. This guy created something really great. <laughs> I am I'm, I'm fascinated by how uh, one person one person one person like what is his passion in order he could have lived a chill life probably you know? he could have stolen he could have millions and millions of dollars he could have he, he could have he could have he could have just chilled out somewhere in the Caribbean because probably he has a lot of the knowledge because he can do this kind of stuff you see that at a certain point in our lives we're gonna have to add meaning to what we're doing yeah didn't you think so? Absolutely. And this is the reason why this is a very important case. The CIA hacking its own people with technology and algorithms that they have not acknowledged that they have to the people or anybody else or the tech companies that they can, if they need, if, if they have informed the tech companies, they can start building uh, programs that would be security. You know how much a security, uh, a software security programmer gets paid? Millions of dollars a year. But that would be a conflict of interest for them if they were to do that. Why are you so smart? <laughs> are, are you the only one who's smart or am, are the people dumb? No, you know. Like you only, sure are, are, you the, are you the only one who thought about it or it's somebody else did too well, in Washington? Know, I am, I am pretty smart, but you know, it's just, <laughs> I was born that way. So it's nothing, it's not a whole lot. It's no knock on anybody else. It's just, that was the talent that God blessed me with. But here's the problem. Here's the problem there. Okay, so if, if the CIA tells Apple, tells Samsung, um, that they have problems in their security system, then how would they keep an eye on us? How would they keep control over the things that we're doing? You know, because there is no way that those things could happen. So, here's what you can expect in the very near future. Apple is going to release a major update. Be prepared. Your phone probably won't turn on for a full <laughs> hour or so. You know? Uh, we don't know, by the No, you don't know. I don't know. But this is what I predict will happen here in the very near future. They will release an update. So will Samsung. Your TV will update. Security systems will update. And they will go in and fix some of the problems that allow um, uh, cyber bullies, if you will, mm -hmm. to come in and steal your information or tap into your microphones, tap into your cameras, search or be able to keep track of the things that you search. So, here's a precautionary measure for you here in the very near future. 
Be very mindful where you put your financial information. Do not just release it to anything or anyone. Be very mindful of the links that you click on on your social media. Because I can assure you that if this has happened to cell phones, it's happening to Facebook. It will happen. <laughs> it's happening to Twitter. It's happening to Instagram and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And those are our main sources of communication. I mean, I, they, can, they can spy on me as much as they want. I'm not... I, there's nothing to hide. There's nothing to hide for you. I'm not sending naked pictures in Snapchat. Dang. I mean, I mean I'm sorry about that. Sorry, man. You know, you can <laughs> come and all the ladies. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm so on. sorry. You can come and stay with me, but that's not what I'm doing in Snapchat. So the thing is, the funny, the, the, the risky part is that this was, this has been happening for a while. Oh, yeah. For a long time. But we, it took us so long to really come with these terms. Yeah. And... And, please, and, and we should be very, 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 very specifically, very, very focused on what's going on in Washington. Be very focused on what's going on in Washington. Because this is your life on your hands. Yes. The government is for the people, not against the people. <laughs> would you, would you yeah, like to say something? Uh, I, I can't 100%... Agree with that as of late. He never agrees with me. I mean, this is the problem with you and me. I, mean, I cannot 100% agree he with He never me. agrees with me. I don't care. I can care less about his agreement, okay? <laughs> the government is very much an institution that's in place that's supposed to have those motives. I, I, I cannot agree people. with you, just like what? you said. I cannot agree with everything that you said, just said. What I people? cannot just agree with everything. My I have question to have would be, mission. what people, bro? What people are people like you, Big Mouth? They are not for the people like me, because I question the government. I question the things that they do. And any time I question something, they say, oh, this guy is a conspiracy theorist. No, I'm not. I'm asking You're questions. Not. You're not. So You're answer questions. those questions. So, But these are some of the questions that we can't answer. So, hey, if you have any of this information, or if you know something that we don't know, we didn't mention, or you just like the topic and want to share your input, comment below. This is CJ, my main man, Moy, on Political Thursdays, Dallas Real Network. Until next time.